Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made with you rejoice and be glad in it. We are looking at the book of Luke chapter 17 and verse number 11 to 14, but I will just read verse 14 where the Bible says, when he saw them, he said, go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. When he saw them, Remember in verse number 13, the Bible says that they called out in a loud voice. And they said to Jesus, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. Have mercy on us. They called unto Jesus. And when we call upon the Lord, we get to such an experience where he sees us. And the Bible says that, when he saw them. In our situation today, know that God cannot see you, but this is where we get to a point where God just addresses your need, where God gets to that point of even giving you instructions. Just as Jesus told them, go show yourselves to the priests. They pleaded with Jesus, to have mercy on them, to pity them, have pity on us. They needed many other things, maybe apart from the healing. And they knew, now that this is Jesus, let us just tell him to have pity on us. Sometimes we have issues and situations that are surrounding us. And when you try to state, you feel as though you can just tell God, have mercy on me. You're going through that kind of a situation where like these 10 lepers were secluded. They, were, they could not mingle with people. And so even when Jesus was passing by, they did not just call, heal us. Heal us, Jesus. We are suffering from leprosy. Heal us. They said, have mercy on us. Have pity on us. I want to encourage you. That even when you cannot state it clearly, Jesus is able to see you, to turn to you, to address your need. He saw them. When he saw them, he said, go show yourselves to the priests. Praise the Lord. And the Bible says in part B of verse number four, and as they went, they were cleansed. In other words, his words what he speaks in your life, what Jesus says in your life and to you is not just an empty talk. He speaks life. He speaks change. He speaks a new beginning. He spoke and said to these people, go show yourselves to the priests. As they went, they were healed. They were cleansed. Praise the Lord. Jesus that does not just speak. His words are powerful. Whatever he instructs brings change and healing and cleansing in our lives. So we get to that point where he turns unto our needs, addresses us, and even gives us instructions on what to do. When you obey, when you follow his words, as you go, you will experience total change. As they went, they were cleansed. I want to encourage you. Jesus can see you. He's speaking to you and his word brings real change and total deliverance and cleansing because he does not speak empty words. As they went, they were cleansed. Praise the Lord. Even though you cannot state clearly Lord, heal me. Just call upon God to have mercy on you. He knows best what to do with you. And as you obey, as you go, you will experience this real and total change. May the Lord bless you. God keep you. Let us call in a loud voice. He hears. He gets to a point of turning to our situations, turning to our story, and he brings total change. The Lord be with you. Have a blessed time. Shalom.